I warm to SBR Sports Picks. He's Mike Renner. I'm Peter Loshak. We're the Odds Couple. You come to sportsbookreview.com. Hashtag AskSBR. This is the NBA Odds Couple show for Wednesday, February 15th. Mike Renner, we got 14 games on the card tonight. A lot of interesting situations. And yeah. I handicapped the card. I think I might be seeing 8, 10, 12 picks I'm liking. This might be one Uh-oh. of those games. This Uh-oh. might be one of those shows where and I give. And that's probably not including the big balls picks. No, yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah, this uh, might yeah. be one of those shows where I'm giving like 16 picks. Okay, and well, I'll just warn uh, Sophia yeah. and Juan Mon, Larry yeah. and all them back there behind the scenes because they're just, the ones you're going to have to deal with. There's a lot of interesting situations. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot it. of uh, situations that have some maybe some betting value. They we'll could, see but you before we get yeah. too far along, Pete, Go how ahead. did you do last night? Did you? You didn't uh, have any picks yesterday. Even, yeah, I passed. It was just three games, I, and well, uh, I, I had yeah. three. I went two and one. Very if nice. I'm correct, another teaser cashed in the NBA. Yes. No, I think you just had two picks. Oh, I had two picks. Yeah. I went one and one. Yeah. T- wait yeah. a minute. Did you yeah. have a teaser in the NBA? I don't think so. Yes, I did. You did. All right. I think we'll have to look. Yeah, we might have to look. What do you have? Uh, you forgot it already. No, last night? Yeah. I had nothing last night. Yeah. Okay, I'm saying as far as what did you have down for me? Because I know I lost on Toronto, which yeah. shame on me. And then you had that a winner with, uh, with, with, the, with Cleveland. So I think you went one and yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. One and yeah. one. I thought I had a uh, – you know what? That's what no. it was. It was yeah. one and one. Yeah. So with that being clarified, what I'm getting at is the shout-outs because we've got a guy, Leonard Stanley, who has been one of our, I mean, most loyal fans. And he's like, please, guys, I know you got a lot of people and all that, but I feel like I'm being overlooked. Please mm. get me a shout-out. So wow. Leonard Stanley, okay. big fan of to Leonard well, Stanley. For real. And Jersey Kozak, this kid is just really helping us out. He's helping build our team on the outside as far as, you know, keeping guys straight because when haters come on, he lets them know, hey, guys, they're not charging a diamond. They're getting ready to heat up. Mm-hmm. Well, he's another one. But Etienne, the kid, be blessed. Nathan Pratt, of course, Guan, who, by the way, Juan sends White. a, a, a right special on. one to you. <laughs> Joel Downing, Travis Clark, Xander, and also a longtime follower with an overdue shout-out, Justin Pauls. My God, you talk mm. about consistency. So, mm. guys, thank you so much. And there's so many more. Each day I'm going to include more because they deserve it, Pete. And oh, they're asking nice. for it. Yeah. You're, so. you're developing a little bit of a Casey Kasem-like flair with yeah. your shout-outs there. It's oh, very thank nice. thank you. Mike I appreciate Brenner. it. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. think they deserve it. Very you know nice. what? Yes. Sometimes the haters, because you'll never calm oh, them yeah. down. There's oh, one yeah. There's yeah. one just telling me I'm trash because I went one and one last night. And that, thank God I'm not paying for Brenner's picks. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. One well, and one. And I'm not, yeah. I'm not in the negative. <laughs> so if you were paying, you might be making some yeah, money. Yeah. But, hey, you know what? I love those guys, too. What the hell? So All right. So let's get into it. we got 14 games tonight. There's a couple. Let's start out with the no-brainers. Maybe you're agreeing with these are no-brainers. <laughs> Uh-oh, the that's the category he has brought back. Well, the first no-brainer is just uh, Houston's absolutely rolling, right? Wow. They've got three straight margin covers playing great defense, as good as always on offense. Miami's lost two in a row ATS, and uh, I'm wondering if Houston on the first half is a no-brainer play with value. What do you think? Well, I don't know about the word no-brainer, but mm-hmm. there's value, I think, mm-hmm. for sure. And I'm just going to take the fact that this team's getting a little tired. Uh, Dra- Dragic, Goran Dragic yeah. said it. He said, I'm starting to feel a little mm-hmm. bit, but we'll get it back. With that being said, though, you're going on the road to a team, like you said, it's kind of clicking, loves running, and I don't think they're going to stop that tonight, even though that white side. You know the last two games each, he's pulled down 19 boards in each oh, yeah. of those games. He sure. is a beast. He's an all-star, and if he's not starting, then shame on the NBA. But guess what, Pete? Pull that trigger. I'm mm-hmm. jumping on with you. First half, Houston, what is the best All shot right, well, line? It's a six in most places, but Pinnacle is 5.5 minus yep. 112, so he can give that. Lock uh, me in the 5.5 minus yeah. 112, and since you opened up that subject, you mm-hmm. better open up that car door and you jump so? in. You think it's a good play, huh? I do, and if it's yeah. not, I'm going to have to hear the big balls mm-hmm. tomorrow. Come on. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. Houston Get in there. 5.5 minus 112. Got it. Pull then that the trigger, other one, baby. which is uh, maybe even more obvious, a bigger line. I don't know if Uh-oh. we want to take it. I but where uh, you're going. Yeah, Golden State at home against Sacramento. Of course, yeah. coming off the big loss to uh, Denver. They also lost their last game against Sacramento, and yep. Sacramento's on a back-to-back, so yep. this is uh, is this too obvious, or is it just like no, no, it's not, solid value? And I love okay. it, and I can't believe I think you got into my right. notes, but the revenge factor is my biggest reason I like the first half. At 10.5, it was available earlier, mm-hmm. okay? The second one is, you know, that was an, when they were in Denver, right, they were coming off that emotional game in OKC, mm-hmm. plus the night before had to figure out how to beat up on Memphis, a team they were struggling with. So that team has had a day to take a break, and then when you look on the mirror and you go, shit, this team beat us last time. That doesn't sit well. And right now, again, Rudy Gay being gone, it's really showing. And DeMarcus Cousins, he's going to do the deal. But there's not a lot of consistent talent around him right now. So I'm banking my money big time mm. on the first half minus 10.5. I really like this, All Pete. All right. Yeah, it is 10.5 or 11. It's 10.5 yeah. minus 115. Yeah, is and I'm taking it. Uh, I'm risking yeah. that 115. I got no problem with that half point. Might make a difference. It might mm-hmm. not. Wouldn't be surprised at all if they're up by 18 at half. But mm-hmm. I'm pulling that trigger, baby. Okay, yeah. Sacramento, DeMarcus. Cousins, they probably don't have it, right? Yeah, back to back. 
All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. He's First in there. Minus you, 10 Dennis, Dennis, minus Dennis I love it. Yeah, this is Golden great. State minus 115. Yeah, yeah. Yo, all right. Pico. Okay, all right. The other thing on this game is I'm not exactly sure why the total is, is quite as what low is as it? it is. 225, which we know what Golden State does when they, uh, you know, I took a shot with yeah, their, with their I, unders I in there. I don't think Sacramento, because guess what? I got news for you. I guarantee Steve Kerr did one thing. He took in first consideration there was an emotional drain from the night before. He also took into consideration that Memphis was a big win. But one thing, he did not sit well and did not sleep well. And I guarantee you, Pete, he's had him in the film room at least twice on this was the lack of fucking defense and he's going to clamp down and if there's any team to grab on on offense to lock them down defensively you know on your defensive mm -hmm. strength it's Sacramento because you know where they're going to go they're going to go to the boogie mm -hmm. they're going to shut boogie down if you get him frustrated I could see them scoring only 80 points I, yeah. I'm not kidding you something's weird about that yeah I I'm mean the, off, the off, last off. game that the Golden State's last game was a huge blowout win against uh, Chicago which again they won by like 40 but like you yeah. said they held them down to like 85 or exactly, something exactly Pete so I just I gotta yeah mm. just throwing that out there mm -hmm. a little more Words of wisdom from Brenner right. that doesn't I know will, a hell of okay. a lot about totals. Okay. I will think about it. Uh, okay. <laughs> another another game that uh, let's let's just go down the line. Then yeah. uh, Spurs and Orlando. The Spurs wow. have lost four out of wow. uh, their, their five on their current road trip. Now they're giving ten and a half to Man, Orlando, who's been points. terrible at home. ATS seven and eighteen. No uh, ATS at home. But uh, the Spurs. I'm not sure they should be a double digit road favorite. Uh, I don't or think do you think so. it's a bounce back spot for them? It could be, but I, I haven't seen enough consistently. And again, I said this in the show mm -hmm. late uh, earlier today, and Dennis brought it up too. It was kind of funny, but. Shame on LaMarcus Aldridge for not stepping up and being that presence underneath that you should be. You've got veteran leadership ability, but you've never used it. That's why they got you the hell out of Portland, right? So now San Antonio takes this guy on, and the NBA channel has this thing called 24 Seconds With. Sometimes it's Steph Curry, whoever it is. You watch that, and you'll see. This guy's got no skill of grabbing and being a leader in that locker room. So that's what's lacking, and I think that's what came with the package they didn't understand. Also the reason they went out and got Paolo Gasol, who's hurt. So now you don't have that on the floor. And Ginobili and Parker are just not the same. Hell, they're getting older. Like, got to be 40-something each. Pete, I'm, I'm, I'm off that team. They could mm -hmm. bounce back tonight in a big way with Kawhi Leonard. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sold on it, and I wouldn't be surprised if Popovich starts thinking about wrapping this thing up in the next two years yeah. retiring. All right, well, I'm taking overs in this one. Again, I, I, I cashed with the Spurs uh, first half over uh, a while ago, uh, and, and it's, again, a 99-point uh, first half total. So I'm going to take okay. the over there at 99 right. minus hey. 112. I like and confidence. I also uh, am going to take a shot with the full game over. The Greek has 206 minus 110. So, uh, okay. I will uh, I will take that. All right, moving on. Indiana Cleveland Cleveland on a back to back. They won at Minnesota last night. Cleveland is two and eight ATS uh, on back to backs this year. And uh, you know Indiana kind of scrappy. Uh, they played in February eighth, and that game went to two fifty. I'm thinking about the under though, and yeah. uh, and I'm also yeah. thinking about I don't know fading Cleveland once again. Kevin Love of course is out. Do you have anything to say about that well, one? Well, I'll challenge you on the fade because mm -hmm. I'll go head to head with you. I would love that opportunity right You're now. You're taking today. Cleveland absolutely, and I'm yeah. going to tell you why. Two words: Channing Fry. Mm -hmm. All right. 10 of 12 from the floor the other night. Quietly realizes he's got to get in there. Kevin Love is out, guys. He's not going to be back mm -hmm. for a minute. And now you're going to see other people get to step up and really show uh, their craft. And Channing Fry is no slouch. When he was in Phoenix, that kid was an absolute baller. He's over here now. Tonight, I think LeBron, he, he said it too. He goes, I know Kevin's out. We're going to miss him, but I'm not worried about it. Mm -hmm. With that being said, quietly come in at home against the Indiana team. Bottom line, just not all that great consistently, mm -hmm. especially when they step up against the, the the better uh, quality teams. I look at this and I say it's a full game no-brainer. I'm touching nothing else. All right. I'm going to be all over the full game. Is this still five and a half? Uh, yes, five and a half yeah. minus 102 at Pinnacle. Yeah. I mean, is Indiana's Indiana, give. buddy, yeah. and I know yeah. you got Paul George and hell, sure. not a hell of a lot more. So they're going to go ahead and slow some things down, and Cleveland is going to find some motive. Pete, this is liable to be a 15-plus win. Yeah, all right, and I'm going to take yeah. the under. I'm going right. to take it's 219 and a half. Are you going to go head-to-head with me Oh, no, 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 I was just leaning that way. No? I'm going to take uh, the, okay. the 219 and a half. The, uh, the Greek is has 220, so I'm going to take the under on that one. A hold up on the first half under. Does though. the I'll breakdown make sense game. to you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, you know it's it's because Kyrie Irving. We can't forget about him. We can't absolutely not forget oh, about yeah. Tristan Thompson underneath. He's going to own the boards tonight. Yeah. yeah. All right. Then another game that uh, people have been discussing is Philly at Boston. And Philly, no matter who's in the lineup, they have a lot of young guys. They've been cashing, cashed four in a row. Embiid's in, by the way. Tonight. I heard, yep, Matty Ice, really? Matty Ice, our social media, gave mm. me about not even 20 minutes ago. Mm. It's official. He's playing tonight. That's what he told okay. me. That yeah. might change things. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, though, because if he's hobbled, you know. Yeah, if it's, yeah. It's, and he's on the road. He's much more effective at home. Mm hmm well, but, it's, a, it's another big spread for Philadelphia. Yeah, they covered four in a row. God. Boston covered uh, three in a row, though. And uh, this is also a game not that sold on Boston. Under. Besides mm -hmm. Isaiah Thomas, I haven't seen a lot of consistency from Olenek, from especially from Al Horford. I'm a little yeah. concerned about that, Pete. But uh, you know, and then you got what's his name, Marcus Smart. He's getting.
getting in trouble all the time, you know, with, with just some things he does as far as off the court. Nothing major, but mm-hmm. I'm not sold on that team consistently yet. In Philadelphia, they're turning heads. And by God, some people just don't give them any damn credit. I think they're a team right now that if you're putting on a three-team teaser on a consistent daily basis, you're cashing, cashing, cashing. Right. Obviously, if you're putting the other two with it. All right. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on that one for now. Yeah. How about uh, the total? Is that enticing Yeah, you all? the under. I was leaning under. All right, you know what I'm going to do? Pull that trigger, oh, since, I'm, since I'm liking both uh, vaguely leaning towards the under and vaguely leaning towards Philly, I'm going to take the Boston team total under, which would be 114.5 right. uh, minus 110. Yeah, I like combining that. Combining those. All right. Figured it out. And then we got uh, Charlotte, Toronto. What's up with Toronto, Mike Brenner? Do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, I do have something to say to Toronto Nation. Hello, guys. It's nothing personal. Dwayne Casey, here we are again, revisiting the same subject from the same time last year. I'm done. Shame on me. Shame on me. Going into a Chicago team that you talk about inconsistent, and they got owned from start to finish. They were never even in that game, never made a serious run whatsoever. So it just shows me, without a doubt, and I honestly think this, I don't think that two players on that roster could start anywhere else. Lillard might, I mean, not Lillard, but uh, Lowry might get a shot. And, you know, DeRozan, he's not a starter to me. He has no defensive skills, and he's getting burnt left and right. But team, that team is in trouble. They're going nowhere. They're absolutely a zero threat in the East. You guys need to know it. And if they don't get Dwayne Casey out, all right, sooner than later, it's going to prove to me once again that this team did nothing to try to get any better and that mediocrity is nothing but acceptable in that organization. So with that being said, I'm done. I promise you this love affair is over. Mm-hmm. So are you, It's are, over, Are you Pete. giving a pick on this game? I'm not going to do nothing okay. on that game. I'm going <laughs> to get right. pissed off for another day or two, mm. and then I'm going to start fading those boys and cashing mm. tickets. Because Toronto Nation, you guys got to be great fans. You're loyal in every other sport. Your Maple Leafs came through for me last night in a big way. But you poor, I feel sorry for the people of Toronto. They deserve mm. a much better product than this. Okay. A much better product, Pete. All right, all right. Then another game I took on the overnight. I took the under uh, 220 and a half in Milwaukee, Brooklyn. Now it's down to 217 wow, and a half. Milwaukee. So obviously my What's lean on that one was on right. And uh, I think I'll give it, although, uh, you know, I hope those three points don't wind up mattering. I'll okay. take under 217 and a half minus 106 Total's in uh, Milwaukee, low shack. Brooklyn. Well, the Brooklyn has started to go under, and uh, Milwaukee, I think after a two big covers, will uh, clamp down on defense a little bit more. You All think right. they might have gapped that hole that they lost with Parker? Or what's going on, do you think? Uh, no, they're, I mean, the other guys are stepping That's up. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, you think yeah. I think they have. I think they've done a good job of quietly yes, saying definitely. somebody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll have to we'll, uh, do a little bit more uh, waiting yeah. and seeing with uh, with how Milwaukee and, responds. And you know, but. they could use any break. They can take the load off of, of the Greek freak. He needs mm-hmm. some help. So if they can yeah. start doing that, you, they might start turning around again. All right. That might be it for me. What else do you have, Mike Brenner? Uh, there's one I love. Okay. I've had a good feel for this team, and I'm riding them on the full game only, but I like it. I think the Clippers are going to get it mm, done. If it's still yeah. minus three, they got Atlanta yes. coming in. And again, hey, Dwight Howard, he's putting up statistically, but mentally in the locker room, all right, they, they, he's still Dwight Howard. DeAndre Jordan is quietly going to be forgotten about in this game because of all the attention that Dwight Howard's getting. All right. DeAndre Jordan, he embraces that. He cannot wait for this game tonight. Mm-hmm. And if anybody can check anything on a stat sheet, you better look at the last game and watch what Blake Griffin did. It was no fluke. This guy has absolutely got a fucking chip on his shoulder the size of Idaho. I think he called Tom Brady and borrowed his. Mm. Right? Just because it is what it is. It's life on life's terms. But he's pissed off, and he's trying to just take it out and let him know, hey, guys, I am absolutely quality. All right? I mean, it never rebounded from knocking out that trainer last year or whatever. But Blake Griffin is going to own this game. Atlanta will not be able to hang. Full game, Pistol Pete. Right. Pull that trigger. Okay. Minus three. Right. Yeah, minus three. Uh, Clippers minus been good to me as of late. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Minus three, minus 110. Line does seem to be headed up just a little bit. Uh, Any thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm still sort of like trying to figure okay. it out. I'm just not sure if I, I don't I don't feel like I have a good read. I mean, Clippers obviously covered okay. the last three on the road. They've been great. Yeah. Well, they were uh, getting eight and didn't need it and beat yeah, the team by yeah. 12. So yeah. that's a 20-point differential mm-hmm. from a fucking line. That makes yeah. a big difference to me. There's no other injuries. And uh, I can't – Sebelosha, whatever, yeah. for Atlanta, now has moved to doubt which not that mm-hmm. he's a big thing, but, you know, Atlanta's not going to be at full speed. They never replaced Jeff Teague, and now Kyle Korver's gone. Baby, this is an absolute no-brainer. All if you right. don't jump in, I'm going to okay. – Yeah, I'm going to give well, you yeah, hell no, no, Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hold off. We'll okay. see We'll see how it turns out. I am, though. I decided I'm going to go on uh, overs in Sacramento-Golden State. I think You are. Uh, he's I think pulling that trigger. Pull yeah. All right. Uh, so I got something else. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Okay. I okay. Like what else the, you have? Yeah, I got five okay. picks tonight. All right. Okay. Five or six. I like – the Oklahoma City Thunder tonight on the first half, mm-hmm. okay, first half only. Yeah. That home against the Knicks, yeah. right, because the Knicks are the Knicks, and Carmelo said, I can't wait for this all-star break, but now mm-hmm. he might be inserted in because Kevin Love is obviously going to be out. So he's now thinking, uh-oh, all-star, I'm going to have to play the all-star game. I don't think he's going balls mm-hmm. to the walls tonight, buddy. He wants to save some in that tank. It's an old man now. Save it in the tank for the all-star game, am I right? Because all-star game right after, you still got some trade deadline left. So if he can shine and even pull off a miracle and get MVP in the all-star, our game teams are going to want him a little bit more than they are tonight if he beats this team he's going to kick back tonight
behind you. I don't see him mm. going full effort. Mm. I may be wrong. Mm. I may be wrong. But give me the best shot line the on that half. first half with OKC. And you know what? I, I, that makes sense to me. I'm going to go on that one with you. Minus Jump in three there. And a half, minus 110 is yeah, uh, the line it. right now. All right. Minus I'll, three? Minus three and a half. Yeah, minus I love it. I love it, yeah. buddy. I think there will be up by at least seven, eight, or nine. Well, Russell Westbrook, let's not forget, man, they left everything they had on that floor against Durant and Golden State. The next night, they laid an egg against Washington. Now they had a rest night. Now they're coming back. I'm telling you, this is a mm-hmm. spot. It's sharp. Okay. I'm on that one with you. And uh, my lines for ah, the Golden State. I would State tell you Sac- I love what uh, we do. Yeah, sure. Okay. My lines for the Golden yeah, State sure. Sacramento over is uh, is 225 minus 110. Okay. And on the first half, it's going to be 113 and a half minus, yeah. uh, minus 102. Well, just yeah. when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, Brenner's got one more pick. Okay. And guess what, Pistol Pete? That? It's a three team teaser because okay. they've been cashing All as right. of late. You know it. Okay. All right. Hit me up with the number. Okay. I'll hit you yeah, up with yeah, the team. Yeah, 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 Houston. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that'll be uh, minus four. Okay, how about them? I'm going to use them. Okay. I'm going to use them. San uh-huh. Antonio Spurs. Uh, yeah. Uh, where, where is that? Where is that? Where, is, where the hell is that one? Spurs the top Antonio of the Spurs. top of the list. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, minus four. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yep. Okay. And uh, you. Tall Jazz, a team uh, we did not uh, talk about uh, against minus Portland. Two. Yep, I like that because right now Utah scratching their heads, going, "What's going on?" Rudy Gobert said we've been a little soft, and Gordon Hayward two for twelve from the floor. Mm. They're going to come out tonight and put mm. Portland. Portland's been getting buried. They are not a good team. All right, that yeah. one is one I wanted to go f- with the Jazz on a full a separate pick, but I'm a hold off. But I really think it had three team teaser written all over. Okay, it. Mm. yeah, Portland's lost five yep. in a row yeah. as well. I'm liking so, the yeah, spots wow. tonight. I'm liking every one of them, and I <laughs> always right. expect to win every one. I never will but pete i feel that zone coming all right yeah well you, yeah. you've been kicking ass over the past couple weeks in the nba and uh we, we gave a lot of picks tonight on today's big sure card did. sometimes there's a big card and we give only one or gave two a lot of shout outs to yeah, some a lot really of good people that deserved picks. it and again leonard stanley buddy thank you and thanks for hanging there stanley leonard mm-hmm. leonard stanley uh oh i threw the paper down so but all anyway. right a lot of shout outs a lot of picks hopefully a lot of winners mike brenner yes. and we will be back tomorrow for the thursday and a card. lot of morgan and Brittany. Do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts. Shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.